everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching the Model 3 Tip of the Week. And this week we show you how to do Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in your Model 3. Let's check it out. All right, next on Now You Know, we're going to tell you how to get Bluetooth working between your phone and your Model 3. All right, so a big question that we get a lot from people is how to get Bluetooth working in their car. Now, if you're watching right now and you're like, Bluetooth working in the car, that's the simplest thing on earth, then you don't have to watch this video. You've got it. But for those of you uh, who are like, I uh, don't know what you're talking about, or I don't know why I'd need to do that, or I don't even know how to do that, well, we're right here for you. First thing we're going to show you here is that the Bluetooth button is right up here in the right corner. Um, and this you're going to hit, it's going to open up the Bluetooth menu. So on here, you might see a bunch of people's phones already if some other people have linked to your car, or you might see none. If you're on here already, then you just go scrolling through and try and find your phone. Now, sometimes they're not named really well, like this one's called Samsung Galaxy. So you'd have to be like, is that my phone or Galaxy S8 Plus? But some others are, you know, Zachary's iPhone. So you'd know that was the right one to hit. Anyway, you pick the one you want and you would touch it. So let me see if, I, if I'm on it here. I'm not even know. I think that's me, Pixel XL. So I'm going to take me off here for a second. Let's go to Pixel 2 XL. And I'm going to say connect just to get me off of here. So you get on here and let's say your phone's not connected. Um, if you can find your phone on this list of phones, great. Just go ahead and hit that. If you can't find your phone, then you're going to have to add a new device. Now, in this case, I'm already on here, so we'll do that way first. So I am Pixel XL, I believe, and I'm going to hit connect. And so because my uh, Bluetooth is already on on my phone, then uh, and you can just do that by swiping down on your phone and, and hitting uh, the Bluetooth button there to turn it on uh, because it's already on the car should find it. Now, sometimes you'll get like we're getting now, which is good. And it's like taking lo longer than it should. And you're like, what's going on? That can happen. See, it just took a few seconds. It finally found it. So you can forget this device if you want. Don't do that. Um, you can disconnect. You can hit media. And so now if I want to play media from my phone, and this is one of the main reasons I like to connect to my phone is to be able to play, let's say, Spotify from the phone. So if I start up Spotify, then I can pick my whatever playlist I want. I can hit listen now, go over to the phone setting here, and then I can just hit uh, play. All right, so this happens to me sometimes. It's playing like it was playing on the wrong device, so you have to go into your phone and make sure that it's playing through your car. But uh, I picked the Tesla, and then uh, we should be ready to go. So I'm picking my, my playlist, and then uh, now I can control it from here. I can pause it. I can play it. And the reason we're not playing it loud is because we don't want to get into copyright issues. But anyway, we can control that from here. So you're controlling your phone from the screen, which is great. You also can control your phone from the steering wheel. Uh, so basically with the left uh, thumb wheel, you can, push uh, you can push right, which will go to the next song. You can tap it, which will pause the song or tap it again to play the song. Uh, you can even go back left and hear the song again if you want to. So that's nice. You're driving along and once you've hooked up to Spotify or whatever player you're on, you can control that with your steering wheel and then you can control the volume with your left thumb wheel. So that's pretty cool. All right. But what if you went to this Bluetooth list and your phone wasn't on there? So then you'd have to do add a new device. And we're going to do that next with Bobby's iPhone. All right. So I have an iPhone. So I'm going to connect this by starting on the Tesla screen here hitting add new device and then start search and we're going to click Robert's iPhone and then if I go into my iPhone settings there's a Bluetooth setting here and uh, and then this Bluetooth pairing request will pop up and we'll hit pair and then you can either allow your contacts to sync or not and then it's going to start connecting on the on the car and there it is it, sees, it says my phone right here okay so now we're going to click on this little box right here and uh, it'll show my contacts who I've called recently. So if you wanted to call from the car while you're driving, you just see all your recent phone calls here or your contacts, or you can dial in a number there and uh, you can just call while you're driving the car. All right, thank you, Bobby. Um, there is another way to get into the Bluetooth menu if you forget about this one over in the corner. It is to hit the music icon right here and to go into this screen. And uh, there will be this, if you're in the phone menu here, which we are, there'll be a connect phone button and you can hit connect phone, then choose your phone from the list or like we did before, do a search and connect. 
and that'll connect you to the phone as well. So the cool thing about connecting your phone with Bluetooth to the car is that you can use a lot of cool Bluetooth functions, like you'll be able to use your phone as the key to the car, you'll be able to uh, use Spotify or other music services in your car. So pretty cool to be able to link the two of them. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below, make sure you subscribe and like, and now you know. Now I know that doesn't seem all that complicated, and to most of you, like I said, like it's probably, you can figure it out, but there's a lot of people out there that are like, Bluetooth? Right. What's Bluetooth? Yeah. And and nowhere does it make it easy to do this. It's no. never like with phones and stuff. They're never just like, just talk to your phone or like, hi, I'm the Bluetooth helper guy. Like right. we used to have all these wizards that would help us with things. You don't um, want that back, do you? You don't want the paperclip guy, do you? I don't. It Clippy? looks like you're trying to connect your Bluetooth. <laughs> Can I help with that? Yes, please. Thank you, Clippy. <laughs> Let's bring Clippy back. I mean, it didn't make any sense of the Microsoft Word document because, I mean, like, no. kind of crazy. Oh, it looks like you're trying to do a, I never, a like, ransom letter. It's like, I'm just trying to do my homework. I need to write I can write sentences. that for you. <laughs> he couldn't do that, no. A clip, today's Clippy, a Clippy of today. What if we had open AI? Intelligence? Open AI should work on Clippy. Looks that... like you're trying to do your vocabulary homework. Need some help? Are you trying to divorce yes, your wife? Yes, we need help. <laughs> Me need help do vocabulary <laughs> homework. Do homework me for. You got it. Boop, boop. You know, then you print it out. Go enjoy your life. But Careful what you wish for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't speak well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful to you. Now you know. <laughs>